Can you recover from SIBO? Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and recently someone asked a question on my Facebook page that I thought was worth repeating and doing a video on. And essentially the question was, can I recover from the autoimmune damage that occurs against the intestinal cells called the interstitial cells of Cajal that allow SIBO to occur? So, in short, the answer, in my opinion, is yes. Now, before I jump into that, let me just give a quick recap on what SIBO is if you're unfamiliar. SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and as the name implies, it's an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestines that can cause gas, bloating, abdominal pain, or distension, and either constipation, diarrhea, or both. Now, what causes SIBO? Well, the uh, the way we think SIBO occurs, right now anyway, is if you've ever suffered a bout of food poisoning or what's called acute gastroenteritis, so you had a stomach bug or food poisoning, you had a bout of either throwing up, diarrhea, or both, that can then initiate an autoimmune process in the gut. And this autoimmune process damages these cells called the interstitial cells of Cajal that help regulate motility or movement of food through the small intestines. And when these cells are damaged, motility is damaged. And when motility of food is interrupted, if food doesn't move through the intestinal tract at, the, at an appropriate pace quickly enough, and it gets stagnant, then bacteria can overgrow. Kind of like flowing water is safe to drink because it doesn't allow bacteria to overgrow, but stagnant water does foster bacterial growth. Same thing happens here. So again, Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, causes gas, bloating, abdominal pain or distension, and constipation or diarrhea. And it's very common. And we're now realizing that it's caused after you have an acute bout of gastroenteritis or, or food poisoning. And that bout causes autoimmunity in the gut against these cells called the interstitial cells of Cajal that are needed to help keep food moving through the intestines. And when food doesn't move through the intestines, you can have this small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So then the question is, can you recover from this? And I think this is a really great question because sometimes when people learn that they have an autoimmune condition, they get really scared, there's a lot of fear, they think they have to manage it for the rest of their life. And in some cases they do, um, but in this case, I, I don't think that that's the case, and I want to hopefully prevent people from going to a very fearful place because, again, in my opinion, yes, you can fully recover from SIBO and regain function of these ICC or interstitial cells of Cajal. Now, here's why I say so. There's a couple philosophical reasons why, and there's a few more peer-reviewed medical uh, research reasons why. From a theoretical or philosophical perspective, we evolved from highly omnivorous hunter gatherer scavengers and living that sort of dietary lifestyle if you will it's very likely we were occasionally exposed to bad food rotting food contaminated food and got food poisoning on occasion to think that we never evolved any kind of mechanism to cope with that is silly and to think that if you ever had you know, as a, the proverbial caveman, if you ever had food poisoning, you'd be suffering with SIBO or, or IBS for the rest of your life. It just doesn't make any sense, right? So that's one. Um, two is these ICC cells, or these interstitial cells of Cajal, are neuromuscular cells. Muscle, we know, has a very good ability to heal and regenerate. Nervous tissue, however, does not. So yikes, does that mean that you're in trouble? Well, not necessarily, because while nervous cells can't necessarily regenerate, nervous tissue has an incredible amount of what's called plasticity, meaning if one nerve or neuron is damaged, all the adjacent nerves or neurons can compensate to help you regain, regain full function. Now, this is why in some cases when people suffer traumatic brain injuries, they can have a full recovery because essentially the neural circuits, if you will, rewire themselves to allow the person to get back to full function. So nervous tissue, while it can't necessarily or isn't necessarily great at regenerating, is very good at rewiring, okay? Uh, and then thirdly, just from an observational perspective, every day myself and other clinicians that treat SIBO see people treat SIBO, clear SIBO, make a full recovery, and have minimal to no issues in the long run. 
Okay, so those are the theoretical and philosophical reasons why I say I think, yes, you can make a complete recovery. The more research-based reasons. We do have um, some great animal model data where we've either surgically removed these ICC cells or damaged or destroyed them via exposure to certain toxins and chemicals. And what we've, what we've observed, excuse me, is that these cells can, yes, either regenerate and or they can, uh, they can rewire themselves, so to speak, and the intestinal function can go back to 100%. So, to the question, because I have SIBO and we're learning that's caused by autoimmunity in the gut, does that mean I have a lifelong condition that I'm gonna have to manage and uh, maybe an annoyance for the rest of my life? And in my opinion, no. You can make a full recovery and get on with your life and be very healthy. Some cases are easier than others to get to that full recovery, but I think it's absolutely possible. So this is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope you, uh, hope you found this helpful. Thanks.